a lot of people say that we're silly, but it's not necessarily the phrase that could be used to completely describe us. Um, you know, we do a lot of things that I would consider to be serious, although it isn't always uh, it isn't always ridiculous. Sometimes we try. Welcome to Questions Answered. I'm Ryan. Today's letter comes from Sam Marquez from Omaha, Nebraska. Dear Tally Hall, if you had one wish, what would it be? I would wish for advancements in the field of renewable energy so that we can end our dependence on foreign oil and treat Mother Earth with the respect that she truly deserves. I'd wish to compose the most beautiful piece of music, a work powerful enough to move mountains. I would wish for more wishes, so that I could continue to wish for things, even after my initial wish had been used. I'd wish to be the greatest basketball player of all time. I think that's kind of selfish, Sidney. I would wish for advancements in the field of renewable energy, so that we can end our dependency on foreign oil and... Can I change mine? I wish to be a better basketball player than you, Zubin. Oh, I'll take Andrew's old one then. Yeah! For my first wish, I wish for... Billion dollars. Good times! Whoa! Hope that helps. I'm Ryan. Hello, my name is Bora. I was born at the age of zero in Detroit, Michigan, in a hospital that no longer exists. I enjoy writing avant-garde music and comedy shorts. I love ethnic food, especially when I cook it. My right inner ear rings at a high B flat. Everyone knows that buses are a safe, efficient, inexpensive form of public transportation. What you don't know is that 83% of all buses are registered, registered sex, sex offenders. offenders. Last night, I dreamed it was my birthday. Sit down. 
I'm so glad you even really truly came We can even go and take a walk or something like that Or something like that But first I need to introduce my what and introduce my when It's name I like to call, it likes to say it's nothing It lives and breathes and it insists that it insists that it is something It never liked to speak or run or walk or sleep or eat It even thought that everybody tried to thought to take its seat Then goes right in its time Killed all its bad dreams Wonder about no things in Circles and spirals in mind But we know that this song is not about to know Or yes or why What's really truly what I say Is that about to live to sigh So come along I think I'm done yesterday. Zubin? Hey, Rob. Hey, buddy. What's this about you dying? Well, you know. Yeah. I guess. I need you to do something for me. Well, anything, sure. When I die, I need you to follow this map. Okay. It is very important. What is it? Zubin? These are my last words. What? What? Zubin? No! No!
To make whole bronzini baked in salt crust, stuff the bronzini with parsley, scallion, bay leaves, and lemon slices. Vigorously mix four pounds of coarse sea salt and two egg whites in a large bowl. Spread a third of the mixture over the bottom of an oven dish. Place the fish on top, then cover it completely with the rest of the mixture. No part of the fish should remain uncovered. Preheat the oven to 450 degrees. Cook 20 to 30 minutes. When cooked, crack the crust at the table with a hammer. I know it's been tough since mom left. Dan, I want to give you something. Hold out your hand. Raisins. It's probably just a fling. It's two girls I like. Rob! Finally! Where have you been? Hurdling. Zubin's room. Okay, go straight, straight, right, right, straight, 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 turn, turn, right, 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 straight, right, right, straight, left, 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 straight, 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 straight. Oh. Oh. I am alive. I am me. 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 I am alive. I am alive. I am me. I am me. I am alive. I am alive. I am me. I am me. I am me. I am me. Mom. I've been doing internet porn. Me and a couple of my friends from school, we told you we were on the debate team, but after school we go to my friend's basement and we shoot videos of ourselves in different positions and different little stunts. We give them our own little nicknames. It's me and Sandra, and then that boy that works at the um, Jiffy Loop. And, um, shoot videos and then we put some different music behind it and we post them on the internet. I know. Raisins. I don't think we should. Well, on one hand, it's definitely a ho you know a horrible thing to do. It just doesn't make sense. Why would Zubin want us to kill Ross? Ross is just a drummer. Yeah. You're probably right. Oh, but the note- I can't believe you're actually considering this. Rob, an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. Guys, I came as soon as I heard. What do you think? We should definitely do it. Oh, this is ridiculous. Shut the f up! Go ahead, Andrew. First of all, Ross is just a drummer. Second of all, this is Zubin's dying wish. You only get one dying wish in your entire lifetime, and this was his. And if that isn't enough, Zubin was our friend. Zubin was our brother. Zubin was love. 
we must do as he would have wished. This is one of those few fragrant life moments in which our only option is to smell the golden rule. And if there's one iota of beauty remaining in this godforsaken little Okay, let's kill Ross. Mm -hmm. Guys. Hey, Ross. Hey, Andrew. Prepare to die. It was Zubin's dying wish. To kill me? Yeah. What for? He didn't say. Yeah. That does put you guys in kind of Time's a up. Wait, 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 wait. Don't I get a dying wish? No. My dying wish is that you don't kill me. But that only counts if we kill you. Huh. Hmm. Last night I dreamed I was in an elevator. Check out the penguins? Sure! Yeah, okay. Hey, Joe. Hey, Zubin. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. What's going on, man? I can tell you, you look pretty sad. You look down. You can, you can talk to me. It's fine. Listen, I, I can see there's obviously something going on with you. Did some one of the guys in the band say something to you, or...? No. Is everything okay with you and Sally? Everything's fine. Did both of your parents just die? Yes! <laughs>
funny, except Billy intercepted it in the middle of class. It was so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Hey, Sally. Hey, Becca. You'll never be as pretty as me. Ooh. Oh my gosh. She's totally right. I'll never be as pretty as her. Uh, Sally, that's just not true. Yes, Sally, you're really pretty. Well, not pretty like Becca. What do you mean? How? How am I pretty? For instance, your gorgeous blue eyes. Well, that's just one feature. Doesn't well, matter. You have long, beautiful brown hair. It's curly. Yeah. It's really you like, cool. You like my hair? It's good hair. Like it? Yeah. Oh. What else? Oh, your lips. They're, they're full and pouty. My lips are perfect. You think my lips are perfect? I think your lips are perfect. Oh. What do you mean? Kids, yeah, balloons, yeah, uh, smiling, you know. Yeah. I, I gotta find another job. I mean, that's really what it boils down to. That's, uh, I think that's sad. I think maybe you just need someone to cheer you up. You know, um, you sure. know, when I was a kid, my dad used to sit me on his lap and we would play a game, which I think you, there's maybe you would enjoy hey, this. It's, uh, please, sir. no, 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 just wait, just I, wait, and back. got your nose. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. You idiot! Oh my god! You need to call 911. I will! Oh my god! You know. Oh. Sorry. Right Here. I just can't take it anymore. I mean, what am I doing? My life is meaningless. I'm out of options. This is the only way it can end. Don't try and stop me. I'm gonna do it. Nothing you say can change my. I'm being followed. I think I'm being led.
ended up being airborne for more than five minutes. That's how I got the nickname Ross. Hmm. Whoa. I think I got something. Congratulations, gentlemen. I am a magical fish. And as I have done for centuries, I will grant you one wish, anything in your wildest dreams, in exchange for my safe return to the pub. Hello? Hi, is uh, Stu available? That's me. Hi, Stu. I'm calling about the nice to use washing machine you have available. Oh. Available yeah. for $25 on Craigslist? Yes. Yeah, I just wanted to yep. call and let you know that I am not interested in that. Okay. So you can just, you know, cross me off the list of anybody who's possibly interested in that. I'm not. What the hell? Can I get a tea? And if you hit me with the A-L-L-Y, then you'd see why the hall is here for y'all. Well, the mini mall is calling us all in. So kids, pack up your mom's car, back up the wind star, kick it and drive, and arrive at the Mega Mart. Slide the side hatch with pride, cause your ties match on booty duty like your name was Eddie Thatch. W-W-T-H-D, we like to kick it at the university, but all work and no play makes us crazy. So, we jump in the bump in SUV. Hit the street, get the street, tune zone one Dip with donut on your mama's fun love boon And sooner than you ever from the rock and roll show At the Tizzy Hizzy, we'll be gone We're in the mini mall Work in the carnival We like to play it all Automated players, I proclaim. Yellow tie, the swap fellow writes heterophonic tunes of how love bites. Rat the proud loud guy we adore. Is my head too high? Now turn it up, more so great in the back, sipping yak in here. He's knocking down the shots like Bill Lambier. Send home the locksmith, Green's got keys to unlock the rock in the act. If you please now open the gates, give Lou the bass and jiggle your bedroom all over the place. We're in the mini Flick off the switch and we'll ignite the night in pitch Sing the songs you like to hear And the world will disappear Then we'll be glowing in the dark Lighting up the park Revealing that the hall is the place that aims to please With unpredictable games and antiquities Then we'll the delectable, so delectable The unreliable styles are detectable Like I might rap like an English chap Take it by the nickels and the bum no slap you didn't think we had the goal of well, running Welcome to Tally Hall! We're stereosonic, we're an animatronic We're rocking with the robo and sonic environments A quick distraction, a mechanic attraction Got a penny in your pocket, but it's not We think we're playing in a band
Moo 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 moo. Moo moo. Moo 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 moo. Moo moo. Moo 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 moo. Moo. Moo 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 Last night I dreamed I was working with my father. This crane got caught up in the wires and it, he was holding the controls to operate the crane and the electricity flowed down the crane and killed him. And electricity can be very, uh, very useful and yet uh, can be uh, very damaging. Yeah, it's bizarre. I gotta pop in here for a second, okay Joe? Okay. Just leave the windows rolled up, would you? Why? Don't you get it? I'm you. From the future.
Number two or number three? Number three. Okay. Number three or number four? Um, three. Three or five? Can I see number three again? This is five and number three. Um, Need an answer. What? This is three, five, three, oh, no. five, three, five. This is three, five, three. Oh, oh, that's time. The correct answer was number three. Tell him what he would have won, Johnny. It's a brand new car. Hey, Andrew! Ross! This must be... This must be Sally. She's my new girlfriend. Sally, this is Andrew. He's the keyboardist for my band. Call me Andy. Nice to meet you, Andy. Nice to meet you, Sally. Hey! Wanna go on a date with me? Right now? Sure. That'd be great. But Sally, I, I thought we had something. We did, but we don't anymore. I love Andy now. I thought we were friends. We are friends, but... You know. Don't worry, Ross. We can still be friends, too. Pick a letter. Dear Tally Hall, which one of you has the longest tongue? Come down the field. It's still going as the goaltender gets ready to block. It's across the half now. Over the grass. It's making its way to the end zone. And there it goes. The goalie gets ready. He does the rocket pass. But it can go all the way. Go! Last night, I dreamed I was walking. Hey. Hey, man. Check out my brand new shoes. What are those? Wheelies. They wheelies? have wheels on the back. Here, look. Wheels on the back. How Come crazy on. is that? I know. Kids like normally wear them. It's not like an ice skate. I mean, it's kind of like an ice skate. I guess you glide, but... The great thing is I can walk, or I can kind of skate a little bit. But don't you pick your poison, as I say. But don't you wish you had just regular shoes? Like, I mean, I could have regular shoes, but how boring would that be? I mean, no offense. I don't want to, like, you know, whatever. Last night, I slept with my shoes on. What? Yeah, I slept with them on so I could wake up this morning Why? and brush my teeth. Just glide over and brush my teeth. I'm so groggy in the morning normally. But last night, I just felt, I don't know, just boost my morning. Just make it feel great. So anyway, that's the only thing that felt good about me. The only thing that I've done. Oh, Mari sometimes comes out of the refrigerator. It's so tight. Hi. What's up, baby? <coughs> oh, it expired. Nice to meet you. 
I am ready for my date. Check out long face. Hey, horse! What is your problem? Yeah, just, just leave her alone. All right? It's over. Don't make it weird. No. thing to do with that money is to go to LA and hunt down Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. You look so yeah, excited. In New York? Yeah, that's what I was thinking actually. I think they live, didn't they go to like NYU or something like that? No, I agree. Do you have any idea where we're really going? Listen, Mary Kate is on yeah, the show she's on Weeds. Weeds. She's on she's the show Weeds. Weeds. So we're going for Mary Kate then? Yeah, Not Ashley. They're Mary always guys. together. Until we get to LA, oh. there won't be anything very interesting to film unfortunately. Can I borrow a dollar? No, Mr. Shu. Can I borrow a penny? No, Mr. Shu. Will you give me a hand with some groceries? Uh... Me and my right arm, we love to play together. Whoa! Whoa. Well, me and my thumb, we like to run. We can stay on together. How many miles did it say? This looks like a fairly bad idea. When? What did what say when we got off? I thought Ross said he saw a sign that said gas there station. There was a sign that said gas, but it didn't specify how far. It just said gas with an arrow. I didn't see that sign. And where's that gas station? Well, <sighs> all right, there was a road like not that far away. So, uh, anyone want to come with me? Yeah, I'll go. You, uh, you'll be able to like, you guys will be able to find your way back, right? God willing. Hopefully. We'll see you in about an hour. Be careful. Just try to remember which way you go. Well, I say we start off the evening in this wonderful van on day one of our trip out to LA um, by interviewing Ross about how he f***ed this one up. <laughs> Ross? As we were all, we were all, like everyone was, you know, there's gotta be something. Well, the highway is less than through four miles, right? Uh, we didn't go four miles. So we went more than four miles. How far do we go? I don't know. A duck? Mm-hmm. A duck? Mm-hmm. A duck? Mm-hmm. Goose! Goose! <laughs> duck! <laughs> I don't know. We were driving through this stuff probably at least a good Oh, in the minutes. van? About yeah. At least 20 minutes. Okay, let's go back. Oh, there's a note. It says campfire, go this way. Okay. There we go. Nice. How big do you think we can get this thing? If we can keep it going, probably pretty big. Whoa. It's Bold okay, move. Andrew, relax. Whoa. You just get your backseat bullshit. Come on, we gotta go in. This is celebration time. Come on, come on, come on. You need everyone's help. No horseplay around the fire pit. I don't think we what? should sleep out here. No, absolutely not. Let's, let's, like spend, let's like spend some time right now. Yeah, we'll just make you a guys wanna do, How about we do a seance? Uh, you guys ever done a seance? How about ghost stories? Let's summon Michelle Tanner. Can I see yeah, him? Yeah, that's All not. Right. Like, you, you, Alright, Joe, you eat it. Alright, I'll put them in the fire. Here we go, start with that. Do you want to get Lincoln here? 
Abraham Lincoln. It's kind of like a who would you like love to have lunch with? Yeah, like Jesus? Have lunch we with could one say answer anyone. Do you want to say answer Jesus? I'd rather say I would say answer, answer the hell out of Jesus. Weekend. Okay, maybe the more you believe in it, the more likely something will happen. But channel somebody that you'd like to channel. All right? Here we go. Here we go. Close your eyes. Hey guys, we're dropped. Yeah, we should yeah. go. Let's go. Bobby? Uh oh. Did you guys set this up while we were um, looking for gas, homeboy? Oh. What? How, how, how would we have made that noise? Would, oh, how would we oh, hold it? How about this? Why don't, why don't you guys go to the van and we'll look for Rob? Oh, you're going to go look for Rob? You guys setting something up? And... Alright. I'm not playing this game. Right, this has been a long us. night. Alright, we'll go to the take van. Us. You guys are going to go. Quick. Rob? The flashlight. Give me the flashlight. Okay, that's definitely not a normal sound. Wait, wait up. Wait up, Zoom. Wait. Rob? Wait, wait up. Two girls with great eyes If they just gave me a chance 
I'd show them what they want and teach them what they got I'd tickle each and every one of their fancies And I'd take the key to my heart and open it And let the love shine through Mary, Kate, and Ashley, I hope you understand That I love you a lot and I wanna be your man And I think that it'd be totally cool If I hung around your apartments and enrolled in your school Mary, Kate! I saw you on TV you dressed up like a bee Reminds me of the time Looks like you have an infection. I demand a second opinion. Okie dokie. I want to tell you boys a story. Every day for the past nine years, Henry had been collecting muffins. All types of wonderful muffins, from poppy seed to lemon weed, from the bluest blueberry muffins to muffins only the imagination could bake. Henry collected muffins from all over the world, and as time wore on, the world took notice. From the corner baker to a group of Chinese dignitaries specifically appointed to fly across the globe just to deliver muffins to young Henry. Henry had become a world famous collector. That is, until today, when he awoke to find his collection disturbed. My muffins! How could this have happened? Why me? <laughs> After feeling sorry for himself, Henry immediately realized what had to be done. I must find out who's done this and make them pay. And so, Henry got up and made his way out the door. Down the steps, he followed the trail of crummery. And he traveled faster and faster, up and down, high and low, through the forest, until he reached a clearing. And at that moment, he knew. How could you? You were just supposed to narrate. But it was too late. There was nothing either of them could do. But my collection! I've worked so hard for my collection! No! No! No!
Tonight's going to be sort of weird. Um, I'm not sure if I should be talking about this publicly, but my friend cut herself today pretty badly. And Sally, I don't know if they have internet at the hospital where you are or if you're watching this, but I don't really care. You know, like you, if you didn't want people to know about this, you probably shouldn't have cut yourself in the first place. That was pretty, you know, unnecessary and uh, irresponsible. After I heard about this, like after my friend said, Peter, you know, Sally cut herself, I thought WTF, you know, like under what circumstances would I cut myself? And why myself? You know, why not Sally? Especially considering the fact that she, like, wants to be cut. She made a rational, conscious decision to cut herself, which is fundamentally incorrect, I think. She obviously had a reason to cut herself. Maybe she was, like, lonely. Or maybe she's, like, she feels, she feels, like, unnecessary, or, like, people don't care about her, or, in, you know, you know that, that manifests itself in, in the form of various insecurities, and she feels like a piece of crap, and then she takes those insecurities out on other people, and then they avoid her, and then that snowballs, and then, like, she wants to cut herself even more. I feel like that sometimes, I know, who doesn't feel like that? But then there's the other side of it, which is, like, from an evolutionary or biological standpoint, don't cut yourself, because it's, like, maladaptive, and it, it but then... What if pain is good? You know, like, what, you know how they say, like, no pain, no gain? What if there's, what if there's some truth in that? Actually. Hey, Zoo. You wanna run through lines? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. okay. Zubin sits in chair shaping the aluminum tubing. Rob enters carrying a script. Hey Zubin, do you want to run through lines? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, actually Zub, I think you're overdoing it a little bit. Really? Okay. No. All right, let's just keep going. Okay. Actually Zub, I think you're overdoing it a little bit. Really? Okay. All right, let's just keep going. Cut to Coney Island afternoon. Rob voiceover. Coney Island afternoon! Hey Zeebs, can you pass the ketchup? Yeah. Have you guys ever tried natural ketchup? Natural ketchup? Yeah, it tastes like regular ketchup, except there's no high fructose corn syrup in it. It's more natural. Hmm. Does it taste better? Uh, I like it more, but I guess it's an acquired taste. Regular ketchup tastes kind of sugary to me now. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Huh. Is it still red? Reddish brown. A little darker than Heinz. Can you... Can you put it on french fries? I use it like regular ketchup. Can you get it at a normal grocery store? I think so, yeah. Hey Zeus, is it... a place? No. Is it expensive? Uh, regular priced. Is it pulpy? No. Does it need to be refrigerated? That's up to you. It's soupy, right? No. Do you eat it every day? Good. Does it smell good? Yeah. Is it edible? Yes. Is it smaller than a bread box? Um, I guess it depends yes on the Yes or no? Uh, yes. Is it all natural? Yes. Is it a condiment? Yes. Is it mustard? No, 18. Is it uh, organic relish? No, 19. Is it natural ketchup? Yeah! Well, yeah, it looks like you have an
Without further ado, I give you Mr. Andrew Sotry. There's lots of pretty people here sharing sotries and passing letters in. There's lots of questions answered and metaphysical, astronomical songs were printed on papers that seem too mystical. It's so magical. People that dance and compute that no one's better than me. La la la, la la la, la la la, la la la. There's kings in distant cities who rule the persons and make them happy and we won't forget about the service or congratulatory Even the animals know that something's brewing and they're all cooing Cause in the end I'd like to say no one's better than you I hope you're happy now I've revealed the truth I've even written this whole song about you And not about me And not about me don't just laugh and clap right now, this is serious, I'm not delirious I've waited very patiently just to let you know who should run the show Cause we all know these are the facts, nothing to retract, nothing to abstract Concluding in the song, I'll say no one's better than you No one's better than you No one's better than you Dear Tally Hall, what is the meaning of life? Yours truly, everybody. Life is very impermanent and changing constantly in all kinds of ways that we would never, that we can't get under control. So then we, then we open our arms to whatever is and we embrace. Well, that's a tough question, I mean, Seems like the only reason, you know, we're here is to, uh, you know, have sex and make offspring, but <laughs> I don't know. It's just, uh, you know, trying to get a better life and be happy, I guess. Definitely my family. I think, especially after you have kids, you know, that's really your motivating factor for life. Mm, to clean up. The ontological argument is a quickie proof of the existence of God, who is that being than which none greater than which none greater can be conceived. So suppose he, she, or it exists in thought alone and not in reality, but then you conceive of an even greater being, one that exists in reality as well. Therefore, if God didn't exist in reality, he wouldn't be the most greatest conceivable being. Therefore, he exists QED, which means that's what we're trying to prove. So, God exists. So, you see, we did it. 20 seconds. Meeting new people and having fun, going to movies and stuff with other people, and, you know, just living life each day, one day at a time. You don't know. My motto is live each day like you want it to be. It might be a last. Mm. I don't know. Eating, sleeping, and having fun. You only have one shot at life, and so you really do need to take it by the horns. Like you're only like I look at it. Like you're only young once, but if you do it right, that's all you need. And that's just kind of the way you look at life. You have to do things because it just makes you feel good. Yes, Mr. Chicken. You asked to see me, Mr. Chicken, sir? You know, 
people always say balancing life and work. It's like, well, I'm work, I'm alive when I'm working, and even if I'm not working on work when I'm outside of work, it's still work because like working on a relationship with somebody you care about is work. Work is to me is a good thing, and I think that there's a perception that like you want to do as little as you have to. Whereas I guess I would say if I'm going to listen to music, I'm going to work at it because I want to learn about it. If I'm going to learn about Art Deco, I'm going to work at it because I want to learn about it. If I'm going to lay on the beach, I'm going to work <laughs> laying on the beach because I want to maximize my enjoyment of just laying in the sun and reading a book or whatever. I love lying around, but like I'm all for it. But you know, sometimes you just got to go do something. Otherwise, it gets you kind of depressed. One of the most memorable things that we look forward to during the day in Iraq was mail call. Mail call came right about supper time, and you knew once it started getting close to mail call, you'd see that guy drive up with the truck full of mail, and they'd start calling off names. Everybody who got a letter, you'd always be hopeful. Maybe it was your day you'd get a letter. Knowing that I'm, 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 I'm making a joyful noise unto God, which I truly believe is the creator of all. That's my personal opinion. I think that's one of the things that's very important about music is that it does deal with the other part of the sensorium. source you know if you went to the you it went to the Bible you'd say the golden rule that do unto others that you would have them do unto you put yourself in somebody else's shoes and what would uh, what would this person uh, want me to do in this situation love Good morning, gentlemen. Right, You've chosen well. pistols at dawn, I see. Right, right. Please present your weapons. Right, right. Thank you. Very good. And you saw? Yep. Yes, approved. As your first time, I shall begin by explaining the rules. You will start facing back to back. You will take ten paces in either direction by my count. On count ten, you shall immediately turn around and fire your opponent to the death. Understood? Yeah. Very well then, for your approval. Gold, 38 caliber bullets, stipulated by dueling code, governing body of Essexshire. As I approve. Yeah, approve it. One to each of you then. Please load your ammunition. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, gentlemen, please take your position. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Hi kids, my name is Mr. Sunnyside, and I like to have fun. Once upon a time there was a giraffe. He lived in Africa with two lions. Their names were Harold and Judy. They were very nice. There was a family of rambunctious elephants that lived nearby. Anyway, one day the giraffe saw a butterfly and he began to chase it. Faster and faster he ran until a power line severed his trachea. Last night I dreamed I had an interview. What you got there? Uh, it's my application. Uh, I'd like to become a chair. A chair? Okay. Can you sing something for us? That's right, time jazz. Have you tried yoga? It's actually quite relaxing. You like yoga? Yeah, I've really taken to it. Makes you pretty flexible. I've always been more of a Pilates man. Pilates? Really? I mean, yoga is one thing, but Pilates? Really? I mean, yoga is one thing, but Pilates? Really? Isn't that kind of I mean, like Taibo? Yoga is one thing. You have no idea what you're talking about. Pilates? Really? I will say, Rob, I've done I mean, Pilates and Taibo, and uh, I prefer yoga. Pilates? Really? I mean, yoga is one thing, but Taibo is one thing. Really? I mean, yoga is one thing, but Taibo is one thing. It's a bow tie! That's it! It's a bow tie! Seventy nine cents. Sir, I don't seem to have enough change. No change, no go. But, sir. Find a way to open up your heart and let the sun shine in. Find a way to open up your heart and let the sun shine in. For there's a...
Jazz. attacked by ninjas. What would you guys do in a situation like that? Eileen Lee Montong, Sarasota Springs, Florida. I have a better question, Eileen. Dear Ross, when you become a father, will you favor one child over the other? do you love the most? Jacob, you're my favorite child. I love you the most. Thanks, Dad. I love you the most, too. Dad, Jacob said that you said that you love him more than you love me. David, that's silly. Go along and play. Everyone knows that practice is a recipe for success. What you don't know is that it's also a recipe for acid rain, which can be chemically treated, boiled, and used to prepare delicious jambalaya. So this is a mission for Tim and Joe. Do you like how I dance? 
pants, I got draconian pants. Consequential enough to slip you into a trance. Do you like how I walk? Do you like how I talk? Do you like how my face disintegrates your job? I have a wonderful wife, I have a powerful job. She criticizes me for being egocentric. <laughs> you practice your mannerisms into the wall. If this mirror were clear, I'd be standing so tall. I saw you stop her over clovers on the side of the hill. I was observing the birds. You know you're making me cry, this is the way that I am I've been living a lie, a metamorphical scheme Detective undercover brotherhood objective of scene Oh no, no, oh yeah So does everybody love hot, uh, hot blondes? <laughs> Mediocre. Outstanding hat, sir. Where did you get that? It's a secret. A secret hat? What will they come up with next? Moo. <laughs> 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 Mechanical Museum, known from coast to coast like butter and toast, from headlines to bedlines, from schoolrooms to pool rooms, never in anywhere in the contiguous U.S. or any environs of the world has been a place like this. Welcome. One more time. Henry Ford to me. The deuce. 
There's a picture of the truck I used to have for parades up there. There's a picture of the 1936 Freaks from the Barnum Bailey Circus. Well, Tally Hall Open is probably one of the first food courts in the United States. It started in the 80s, real early 80s. Tally Hall closed down at the end of the 80s or the early 90s. I had this thought and I called it Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum. Why not? What's a museum? Museum just has older things that people like. The mistake I really made, the kids didn't like it. The kids don't like to go to museums. They want to go to some rock concert and something else. People say, I passed here 50 times. What is this place? Or they call, what is this place? So how am I going to answer what it is? I say it's like something you've never seen before. All types of things for all ages. How much does it cost to get in? It costs nothing to get in but 100 to get out. Yeah, just a joke, but that's fun a little bit. You can edit these things, can't you? This one lady who said she she took Martha Stewart and rolled her all out, rolled her that was her words rolled her out all over the country. What she wanted to do with that me? She wanted to roll me out all over. But but the thing is, there's so many. It's not square. There's so many angles this way and this way and up and down. It's be hard to reproduce a place like this. Uh, this is one of my favorites it's from England. It's called a working model, a guillotine. Now watch carefully what happens to the guillotine. The doors are going to open, and then you'll see the guy with his head with the, with the blade coming out. I watch this bang right in the basket. See like this. This is a very sweet machine, and if you notice this marquee, that was an artist friend of mine that died. Look how beautiful that's all yeah, hand done you like it, baby? and gold leaf. They just don't do that anymore. They do vinyl letters. Anyway, here watch this. Sweet couple. One of my favorites. The price of chickens. That's all done with wooden gears and cogs. Are you ready? Hello, blah, blah, blah. I'm here to buy a chicken. Will you show me one of your chickens? And the lady says, here, I got a nice one for sale, this one right here. The lady says, oh, no, way too much money. So he said, I'm going to put it away then. Clever? Not clever? Marvin, lunchtime. You notice I put my name all over. You know why? Because nobody else will. Now, this is two pieces. This is called The Last of the Dodo Birds. And this is Life's Spaghetti Eating. Now, watch. Chopping up the dodo bird. Sailors want more. And this one, eating spaghetti out of the bathtub while the marinara and cheese sauce comes out of the uh, spigots. A lot of people's favorite. Spanish Inquisition. Torture by flogging, by iron bolting, by uh, cutting the head off, by stretching. Now I found people either like Horror things or love things. That's what they usually like. It's from the 30s from England. Today I deal with the daily running of the business here at Marvin's. All the fun headache stuff, the bookkeeping, dealing with the employees, ordering and stuff like that. We had a house full of all different kinds of machines. Then in 1980, my mom brought me to Tally Hall when they first opened. And she thought, what a great place for your dad to get some of this stuff out of the house. None of the stuff in the house could be brought out for public display because it was all far too nice to leave unattended for little kids. So we had to go buy all new stuff and take over more space in the house and spend more time away from home running the place. When you have a passion for something, it does affect your family life because you like to spend all your spare time creating and fixing and improving and consequently the children, the wife, they just don't like it that they're made number two or number three priority. So I think the proper way is to make a fixed time for everything. And uh, unfortunately people with a passion like this don't do that. These are bent because I usually put my feet up here. This head was going to be mounted on top of the clock. All this we have now. Then my head was going to, sh on a pole, would shoot up, spin around, another pole on the top, the hair would fly up. 
and all the time top here there'd be a jet of water coming out and by the time it hits the air it vaporizes so it looks like steam coming out of there they didn't go for it because they said it was a traffic violation see i got a tattoo is white see sometimes i open my mouth see it can you see it mm. some of these artists are just a definition of artists they're really creative and uh, they make things that people like Watch this. The ringmaster. It just missed his head. I really love this thing. Great action. Rod Fuller, England. Invasion of the body snatchers. And I, I want to just run this through, see if it works. First you see some men riding on a trolley car. Then from nowhere comes a spaceship. Spaceship comes out, and then it turns black. And the spaceship lands and goes. And guess what? If you look very carefully, you'll see that an alien has taken over one of the spots. Clever, Keith Newstead. The disgusting spectacle. What's nicer than a piece like this? That beautiful piece, all made out of tin. Uh, washing, uh, drying the socks on the propeller. It's true art because most of them are one of a kind. They're all made by hand. Somebody thought of it at home, just started drawing up sketches, and they didn't buy parts out of a catalog. They sat there and created all the parts themselves. We get people coming in from all over the world here I, just because of what a unique place we are. You know, it's not just about making money. It's about seeing people happy, giving things back to people, and doing something different. Did you ever feel overwhelmed by your stuff? Yeah, when I, actually when I wasn't feeling good, I did feel overwhelmed because there was just too much I couldn't get out from all the stuff. Uh, these are crazy automaton, you see this? I met this girl Lucy in England. She makes these things to watch. <laughs> See, here he grabs that lady and shakes her so much that her eyes pop out. You see the eyes popped out? You see it? Evolutionary blunder. Well, this spins around here. Before developing fangs and branching out into movies, the vampire bat had a hard time scaring anybody. See? Isn't that funny? See, there's a display at the Jewish Center Art Gallery, 1904. The dolls of Magda Watts. I told me that Marvin, you go up the uh, But I had these. See how they cramped in this room? From pictures, see how she made me? <laughs> She's so funny. Look what she made me here. The chase is the best part. Once it, once you get it, it sits there with all the dust. But chasing, remember how you got it, and, and thinking about it, and that's the best part of collecting. Everybody's notable. I, I mean, maybe there's some people are luckier than most to get the notoriety. But you know, so over these years, Grand Hill who used to be with the, the Pistons, loved the place, was in all the time, and loved to play with the kids too. They challenged him in the game. And David Copperfield, who's a friend of mine, collected. Eminem had a birthday party there. Jack White from the White Stripes. Robert Shapiro, who was the lawyer for, uh... <laughs> Restricted, I don't like to answer restricted. Yeah. Hello? I think it's better when you don't plan things because you get too disappointed in things. But I, this wasn't planned, it just grew. Started one little machine, and then two, and five, and six, and then I got really hurt when Tally Hall closed. I had this big plethora of machines. I didn't know what to do with them. Only thing I'd probably do is like to have a bigger place to display more things, not get rid of them. But on the other hand, big is not better. It's it's better is what's better. I think. I like that quote. Better is better. <laughs>
Good morning. Do you want some mango? I wrote a poem last night. No, I don't. I don't want mango. Come on, take some mango. I'm allergic. Is it delicious? I'm really allergic. Are you sure? Yeah, hey, do you want to kill me? With the mango? Yeah. Okay, I don't know. <sighs> need to keep the uh, touch panel LCD 3.0 megapixel sticker on your uh, LCD screen? Huh? Huh? You're making me so, so smart Stop now? It. Stop, it. Huh? Stop it! Stop it! Huh? Stop it! Huh? Stop it! Stop it! Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, tough guy. Are you serious? Yes! Really? Yes. Why? You s Some knowledge or, or, or some major step forward in knowing who he is because it doesn't work that way. The way it works is, is that he reveals himself to us. You feel like we're army units? Yeah. Yeah, like troops, right? Yeah. Right, Andrew? Right? Yeah. Good night. So are you ready to do our nightly sharing of feelings? Yeah. Do you want to meet in our room and we'll do the friendship circle? Okay. Uh, standing in the Austin Convention Center and uh, we just got our wristbands and we went here to get some badges but look at this there are like millions and millions of these bags it's the bag room you get a whole bag of free paper and it has writing on it and everything everything it's crazy should I be in a band for the rest of my life is that what you want to do? Play your instrument for the rest of your life? I'm asking you! Just fall. <laughs> do you know any Russian dancers? Yeah, I know three. Can you show us the first? Hold on a sec. You really want me to do it? Okay. How far is he going to go? Oh my god! <laughs> Is that it? That's no, as far as we get? He hasn't even started the dance yet. Oh, are you just... <laughs> Okay. <laughs>
talk to you about South by Southwest. First of all, South by Southwest isn't for everyone. It's only for people who have an interest in Satan. Stopped into a satanic church one day With my machine gun blades and I blasted them all away Die, die, Satan, your time has finally come conclude about South by Southwest after this year's experiences? I can conclude that in this world there are so many things. I conclude the following three points. One, South by Southwest is truly a great time. Two, if you're ever trapped in a thunderstorm and your car is struck by lightning, Stay in the car because the tires will insulate you from the electrical conductivity of the ground. Three. You don't have three things, you're just making something up right now. The third thing is that I do have three things, Andrew. I got it.
Hello? Hello? 